It's one of my favorite brush piles. Place that I have caught a whole lot of fish. We got beautiful fish. That's what I'm talking about right there. Gotta love that. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. Got him. Come here. Oh, yeah. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Snap! <laughs> Ooh. Goodness gracious! Oh my god, I seen him come out and grab it. Fat catfish right there. Oh yeah. All right. Ooh, nice one. Oh, I hope I can keep him buttoned up. Oh yeah, that is a hoss right there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You better pull out the meat stick because it's swamp donkey time. Bass so big you just might bust your pole. If you want some real action, you gotta head to Spinner Bob for the best spinner baits and buzz baits hands down. Single, double, and triple armed red hot goodness. The big man Bob knows how to hook them up. The name says it all, Spinner Bob. Now come and get you some of this at spinnerbobblures.com. For over 100 years, r and Bait and Tackle has been selling the highest quality fish bait in the Buckeye State. Our minnows, crawlers, and crawls are guaranteed to catch fish or die trying. Open seven days a week, all summer long. We know where the fish are biting. Call us for the latest fishing report. Now let's get back to the action. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Fishing with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Jordan. On today's show, we will be heading to Hoover Reservoir in Central Ohio to catch some crappies, late season crappies. It's going to be in late May, so we're going to catch them in different places than we normally catch them in the spring. Then after that, I'll be heading to one of my favorite Northern Ohio bass lakes for some awesome largemouth bass fishing. So stay tuned. You are going to love today's episode of Fishing with Joe. You have got to love it. Mm. There we go. There we go. Got those crappies playing around. Right. Another beautiful fish. Beautiful dark crappie. They're spawning. Gotta love that. Oh yeah. Thank you. Alright. Let's see. Let me try over here. Let that cool off. get it in the right spot it doesn't take very long <laughs> bobber goes right under right away yeah that's what I'm talking about that is what I'm talking about oh yeah okay. thank you All right let that minnow go and I'm gonna get another one It was a bluegill. You didn't hit it like a crappie. Yeah, yes it is. And I was just saying that that fish took that bait under so fast I didn't think he was a crappie. 
tossed it back out there. It's a very nice crappie. Beautiful crappie. Yeah. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. Alright. Going home. Thank you. Fish. Fishing in the trees, folks at home. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you got to do to pull them out. Got to get down in the, get down in the trees. There we go. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ronald Beach III and I'm with Shopes Tire Service. We go and repair tires properly, we don't plug your tires. We do maintenance on vehicles, uh, brakes, oil changes, uh, steering and suspension components. We offer road service for emergencies when you're stuck out on the side of the road. My grandfather started this company in 1967 and we've lasted three generations and we're working on the fourth generation. We're here Monday through Friday. 8 to 5.30. Saturdays is 8 to 2. We're located at 1890 South High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Come and see us. Invite us to your next blowout. Weldcraft makes the most reliable, durable boats on the planet. All welded hauls and heavy duty construction are the reasons why. With over 25 years manufacturing experience, you can't go wrong. That's why it's the boat Joe chooses to reel in the big ones. If you want the hottest boat on the planet, you better quit playing. You better get to Weldcraft. Now let's get back to the fishing and fun. It's time to talk tips. In the early season at Hoover Reservoir, when you're fishing for crappies, you want to concentrate and focus on areas where there's emerging vegetation. Anything that's green will just suck those crappies in just like a magnet. But as the crappies have begun to spawn and they've begun to spawn out, then you want to concentrate your efforts on wood. And that wood needs to be adjacent to deeper water. Those are the places that will begin to attract crappies in late May and early June. So that's just a tip to help you catch more crappies the next time you go to Hoover. Must not be the right type of tree for them. All right, this one's supposed to have a fish on it. Man, I can smell them. Can't you? Oh, there we go. That's a nice crappie. And I knew that crappie was going to be in there. It's one of my favorite brush piles. It's one of my favorite brush piles. Place that I have caught a whole lot of fish. Go, by, go back to spots that you know. Yeah, beautiful fish. Thank you. All right. There we go. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. There we go. That's a good one. Sometimes you got to go through a few small ones to get to the big ones again. There we go. That's a nice one. Right. Thank you. There we go. That's a good one. 
Alright, yeah. There we go. Alright. Another crappie. Beautiful fish. Um, today, it's different than it's been for a while. Um, normally, I catch the crappies around the flooded brush like you see behind me. But right now, the crappies are holding to wood. And so if you fish the brush, you're really not catching good ones. But if you fish the woody brush, pieces of wood, that's where the better fish are. That's what I'm doing. Fishing the wood. All right. Thank you. All right. We had a great time here at Hoover catching crappies. But now it's time to switch up. We're going to head to northern Ohio for some largemouth bass fishing, some evening largemouth bass fishing, and we are going to tear them up on top water plugs. So stay tuned. You are going to love it. You better pull out the meat stick because it's swamp donkey time. Bass so big you just might bust your pole. If you want some real action, you gotta head to Spinner Bobs for the best spinner baits and buzz baits hands down. Single, double, and triple armed red hot goodness. The big man Bob knows how to hook them up. The name says it all, Spinner Bob. Now come and get you some of this at spinnerboblures.com. Have you ever wanted to go fishing with Joe? Well, here's your chance. You can be on the boat when it all happens. Joe has the best fishing guide service in Central Ohio. You can learn all the naughty little secrets no one else knows from the man himself. Just go to fishingwithjoe.com and book your trip today. Now let's get back to some fishing and fun. It's time to talk tackle. All right, when I started largemouth bass fishing, I started with a tube jig like this. I like patterns in white because they most effectively mimic shad. But a tube jig does something even more. When you're fishing in weed beds, like I was fishing around today, they can be rigged weedlessly and they'll slide right through those weed beds. And they're an excellent choice for fishing for largemouth around weeds. But when light conditions started to fade, I had to switch up to a topwater walking bait just like this. Topwater walking baits are very effective in low light conditions. Fish get more aggressive, they're more willing to chase a bait. Also, camera light was starting to fade, and I didn't have a whole lot of time to produce some fish. I had to switch up to a bait that I could put in front of a lot of fish in a hurry top water walking bait is the ticket. So the next time you go out and you have low light conditions, tie on a top water walking bait and it'll work wonders for you. All right, there's one back there. Telling you at this point, I'm gonna move off of these weeds because the weeds aren't that pronounced. And I don't know whether that top water plug will net me the big fish or not. But I'm gonna start walking the dog. Got him, got him. He's a moose. Oh, goodness. He is pulling. He is pulling. Oh, my God. He's a moose. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh. Mm. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, I was just saying. I think I'm gonna switch baits. I think I'm gonna switch baits. I don't know. 
<laughs> oh well, I think I've got my answer. Man, I see them just blowing up all around. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Gotta love that. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Red winged blackbirds are so pretty. Ooh, there we go. Got him. Come on now. Uh uh. Going in them weeds on me. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Now you don't. I gotcha. There we go. And another one. Another one. There we go. Um, switched up to the top water plug, walking bait. Um, sometimes I like to switch to this bait just because it's just a little faster. Sometimes I like to get it done with the quickness. All right, we'll put this one back and go back to work. Thank you. All right. I seen movement. Come on, eat it. Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just barely got him hooked, and he is a good one too. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Switch directions on you. This is fishing with Joe. We ain't got no time to play. No games. Straight business. This is straight business right here. Getting it done. Fish came up behind the bait, kind of swiped at it. When you see that happen, you gotta slow up. And when you slow up, you make that bait take off. When you make it run, that you're gonna react to. Pow, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, going back so you can catch it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, right back to work. Weldcraft makes the most reliable, durable boats on the planet. All welded hauls and heavy duty construction are the reasons why. With over 25 years manufacturing experience, you can't go wrong. That's why it's the boat Joe chooses to reel in the big ones. If you want the hottest boat on the planet, you better quit playing. You better get to Weldcraft. Now let's get back to the fishing and fun. If you're looking for the best bait in the Buckeye State and an awesome selection of tackle, look no further. R&R Bait has been serving up the best for over 100 years. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff will make sure you're outfitted right for your next fishing adventure. And when you go, tell them Joe sent you. Now, let's get back to the action.
Ooh. He snatched it, didn't even know he had it. Gosh. Sneak routines. Working that bait. They're just coming up and gulping it in. You don't even know they have it. All right. There we go. Got you a little bit of camera time, Mr. Fish. Now you're going back. Back to work. Ooh, no. Did you see that? He came up and got it off the bank. Oh my gosh. And he's a, oh, she's a huge one. Oh Lord, oh Lord. I was, ooh, I was tangled on the bank and that fish seen that bait and he came up and he snatched it. He came up and he snatched it right off of the bank. Uh. Uh, yes! Oh! That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it right there. You don't even go in to get the snags out. You just let the fish do the work for you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, let me get this beast unhooked. Gee. All right, uh, he just snatched that thing so fast and so hard. I was shaking the bait because I got it caught in the moss and in the rocks. And I guess all that activity just drove him crazy. And he went up there and just snatched it off the rock. Oh my gosh, this is insane action. Yeah, they're on fire. Call the fire dude. <laughs> oh yeah all right take a look and he's going back so you can catch him. yeah yeah right thank you thank you thank you thanks for getting my lure off of the rock all right going right back to work oh yeah Oh, there we go. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Don't you come off. Barely got him, too. Barely got him. Come on, come on. I don't want those hooks in me. Oh. Keep those hooks in you. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah, almost got me. Almost is not good enough. This is a fishing with Joe show. So fish get caught. Joe does not. <laughs> All right, another beautiful fish in the evening. They're just blowing up on it. Blowing up on the top water walking bait. Evening is the best time to go out and use a top water walking bait. Got to try it sometime. Whenever you're around a good bass lake where there are a lot of largemouth, tie on that top water walking bait and start walking the dog. You'll get results. Oh yeah. Right. There we go. Going home. Thank you. Thanks for watching today's episode of Fishing with Joe. Hope you enjoyed the show. Just because I quit filming, doesn't mean I'm gonna quit fishing. See you guys next time. I'm going back to work, catching some more fish. All right, we had a great time at Hoover Reservoir catching crappies. We caught some really good ones. Then we headed to Northern Ohio for largemouth bass. At first, we started with a tube jig but light conditions kind of began to fade, and when they did, we switched up to topwater plugs for some great results. It's one of the things that you have to remember. In low light conditions, you want to continue to fish, but you have to fish with something that's a little more visible. 
and the top water plug was the ticket. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fishing with Joe. I will see you again next time. And remember, Fishing with Joe, you have got to love it.